Hello, hello, hello there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thursday Night Live. You know what it is. Get in here. Invite a friend, tag a friend. Listen, Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. This is the place to be. You don't want to be caught anywhere else. Listen, you can grab your tea, your coffee, your water. You can keep on your PJs if you like, but this is the place to be Thursday night live. We're doing our Bible study, Chosen Chick Style. So let me do this before I get too excited. Let me invite a few people. We are back to our regularly scheduled programming on last week. We had a day party, which was wonderful. And did I see... And um, I appreciate y'all once again. Y'all rock with me. Y'all flex with me when we have to, you know, flip it, reverse it a little bit. So I am I am just so grateful. Do me one favor because we know the technology gremlins have been growling <laughs> and challenging us extra hard the last few weeks. When you pop in, do me a favor, please drop the comment, say hi, hello, what's up, so that I know the comments are working. I want to make sure that everything is everything. I look like I see some people popping in, but up oh, there she is, my girl Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Sarah, I have to laugh because I wonder what the people on YouTube, when they um say, like, who is Sarah? Who is Hazel? Who is Rose? Who is Daphne? <laughs> like, uh, y'all are the ones I always talk about. There she is. Hey, Alexandria. Thank y'all so much for being in here. Thank y'all for letting me know that the comments are working because that is helpful. While we're doing that, let me get a little cough drop going. Get my throat nice. Hey, Yolanda. That's my sis right there. Thank you for being here. That is a excuse me, beautiful and busy mommy. I'm so thankful. Let me get moisturized all up in this area right here, y'all. <laughs> Hopefully we get everything like we need it. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so, so excited. I always am, y'all know, of all the things, that's not hard for me to be excited. It's not hard for me to be so. Welcome again. Thursday Night Live. Our chosen chick style Bible study. Yes. So, in case you don't know, I, I love my sisters. I know y'all are inviting y'all friends. I know y'all are tagging a family member. So, for our new folks or folks who have been away for a while and they said, Hey, listen, this is 2022. I want to be brand new. I want to get it right. So, Loud and clear. All right. <laughs> All right, Yolanda. Good. So, Chosen Chick Discussion Group is a beautiful, beautiful corner of the internet. This is where real women come together to discuss real issues and, more importantly, what God has to say about us, what He has to say about our lives. And I believe. Not just because God used me to put it together, but I believe that our lives have been made better by being able to connect together as sisters, as women who love the Lord and want to lead a life that is pleasing to the Lord. So this is a place of empowerment. You can ask your questions. You can get prayer. You can get support. I promise you, the sisters here will support you, will push you on. You will have that confidence. You will feel like you can go on and do exactly what God has called you to do. I am the creator, founder of the Chosen Chick Discussion Group. I am Artisha T. Bolding. I go by the Mindset Midwife or Coach T. I am an ordained minister and certified life coach. Listen, I build legacies of health, wealth, and wisdom. I do that by motivating women and entrepreneurs to birth their business book or brand. I ensure that you are no longer stuck in life, but thriving in success. 
that's aligned with your passion and purpose. I always say I'm extremely grateful that the work that I get to do as a beautiful black business owner who is abundantly blessed by God, I'm so grateful that the work that I get to do is in perfect alignment with my ministry. My work is ministry pulling out those gifts those god-given gifts those god-given passions and dreams pulling them out of women and entrepreneurs making them a reality i love it i love it but guess what besides anything i have to say that thursday night is my favorite night when i get to share the word that the lord has dropped on me and when i get to engage with you beautiful sisters and also when i get to share it with our larger global audience on youtube by the way just a quick point of housekeeping i want to make two quick points uh, number one by the time we get off of this live stream tonight it is the very first thursday of february february 3rd by the time we get off of our broadcast our stream broadcast old radio term <laughs> by the time we get off of our stream on tonight last week's lesson will be up on the healed girl youtube channel so you get unlimited replays there if you have a friend or family member who doesn't really fancy facebook i have several of them then send them right on over to youtube you can pause you can have it playing on your smart tv through your speakers all of the good stuff the healed girl youtube channel i will drop that link a little bit later okay the other thing if you couldn't be here with us live don't fret don't be afraid you can go all the way back to the very beginning of the lesson start the stream from the top do me a favor let me know you're here drop the comment hashtag replay so that i can acknowledge you and engage with you i want to see your face in the place i want to see those light bulbs go off i want to know that the revelation is blessing you i just saw my girl rose pop in the building let me check one thing. Um, let me check one thing. I'm going to invite my girl. And did I already? Okay. Boom. All right. Done with that. Yes. So let's get into it. Y'all are right on time. Thank you for being here. I am so, so grateful. Y'all know I always do my own replay at the end so I can engage with you a little bit more so that I can drop the links and the information all 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 good stuff okay so let us pray we're going to jump into this lesson lord you're mighty that's the topic for tonight lord you're mighty okay heavenly father in the name of jesus god thank you thank you for who you are in our lives thank you for showing up lord god right when we need you to and god i almost want to take that turn back just as quick as i said it because it's not necessarily that you're showing up because your word says you never leave us. You never forsake us. So you're with us all the time. Your presence never fails us. You never draw yourself from us, God. But we thank you when you are near. Thank you for revealing yourself to us in new ways. God, it's exciting. This is such a wonderful time to be in the body of Christ, to be a believer. It is exciting and I am just grateful, Lord God. We thank you for this word that's coming forth on tonight, God. Thank you for using me, Lord God, to get your work done tonight. Your mission be fulfilled. All flesh decrease right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, increase and take over, Lord God. Thank you for speaking to us and through us, Lord God. Thank you that hearts will burn, mind will change lives will change on tonight god hide us behind the cross lord god that we will see the purity of your love for us of your dreams for us god because you have a vision and a purpose and a path for us lord god and it starts with us getting our hearts right getting our minds right understanding these lessons lord god and walking them out every day god so we just thank you lord god i thank you in advance that the seed that you are looking to plant will fall on good ground on tonight it will bring forth fruit in its time lord god there will be increase and abundance in my sister's lives in my sisters and brothers all over the world lives later god and i just thank you from now to eternity that this word will be a blessing in jesus holy name amen 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 hazel's in the building yes 
Alexandria looked like she might have to pop out or pop in and out. She said she might have to catch the replay. So we are so grateful. So grateful for everyone that's in here. Uh, Rosemary's at work. Appreciate you, Rose. And so she will catch a replay as well. Listen, anytime you catch it, it's going to be good. It's good and bouncing, bountiful live. But when you catch it, when you can take the time, grab a notebook, listen to it, it's good then too. Some of us listen to it multiple times. So I appreciate that. Listen, tonight, 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 somebody say tonight, tonight, we're going to be talking about Lord, your mighty. Because guess what? If we don't know anything else, we need to know we serve a mighty God, a holy God, the risen Savior, the true and living God. There is but one. Hello. His name is Jesus. Jesus. Uh-oh, Sarah says she's having a problem with the video. Uh, didn't I just say it? Now, y'all tell me. <laughs> Hazel said tonight. I'm on the Wi-Fi. Let me check one thing real quick. I got full, whatever, the bars is what you say in the phone. But the Wi-Fi is it's showing that my signal, my signal is strong. So, Sarah, maybe try to pop out and pop back in. I'm going to jump and I'm going to go ahead on in the lesson. I don't want to hold up the time. Sarah, maybe try to log off and log back in. And if you are on your Wi-Fi... Oh, Sarah, I know sometimes you be on the computer. Hazel said hers is coming in clear. Okay, y'all know I connect. We not... You know, this is God's stage, so it's not about me trying to do anything. So y'all know, just let me know if it starts to get weird. But, um... If I'm on the Wi-Fi and we should be good to go. And y'all know I was trying to do it from another device before. That didn't work. So I'm right here with the phone like it needs to be. Because for me, the phone is just the best thing <laughs> to go live and do right. So y'all let me know. Okay. So I'm going to jump into it. So let me go ahead. I'm going to try to stick to the notes. Y'all know I try to be obedient. So uh, let me do a quick recap. So a couple of weeks ago, we talked about being unbothered and unoffended. Sarah said her video keeps stopping. That is weird, Sarah. I don't, I don't know. Sarah, I do not know if you, maybe Sarah, if you're not on your phone, maybe try to get on your phone and see if you can do it from the phone and not, not the Wi-Fi. I know a lot of times you'd be on the laptop, I believe. I don't know. I I, I know what it is. We already know what it is. It's a good word, and it's trying to be a blockage, but the, the forces of darkness will not prevail. Hello? They will not. They will not. So I'm going to continue on. I'm just praying that everyone who needs to hear this will hear it clean and crisp. It will be clear, and that it will shot to the heart, and God's to blame. <laughs> so... A couple of, you already know what it is, Sarah. We know it's the enemy. and He is defeated. He is defeated. So don't stop. Just try. If you need to go back out, come back in. If you need to try from the phone, turn the phone, close out everything on the phone and bring it back up. Just try that. Okay, just keep. I appreciate it. And God appreciates your heart. So just keep, keep pushing. You need this word, okay? Unbothered and unoffended because that's the posture. Hello, somebody. The mindset the heart set that God wants us to have. That was a couple of weeks ago. It's a brand new season. We're not getting caught up in drama and foolishness. Hello, we're not going to get caught up in what the tech grims are trying to do. Just in case you all haven't noticed. So number one, let me just get into it. Somebody say message before the message. I didn't have it in the notes. God didn't give me one. But we already know what it is. Message before the message. Somebody drop it in the comments. We have to push through these things. We're not going to get caught up. I think it's very interesting that for the last three weeks, last three weeks, we know, hey, Pastor Hill, Pastor Hill popped in for a second. For the last three weeks, we know I have a beautiful blessed house guest. Hello, somebody. Um, we've had other technical interruptions. Um, I believe it was just two weeks ago when we was trying to get unbothered and unoffended that we had to redo the stream three times. I've never in the history had to do it three times. It was only the third time that it even started working. That was insanity. But we're not going to get bogged down. These are just circumstances. That's just an example. The Lord let us walk out a real life example here. Hazel was in class. Um, Hazel was one of my amazing clients. Um, 
I did, um, again, the Lord had to do my schedule because there's no way that I would have chosen to do that. So I had my master class open to the public, free, beautiful gems, drop that on. And what that segues into is my mastermind, which is a paid private group class where you can get specific insight on your ministry and your business. Hazel can let you know, we were in class. I was trying to play a specific little piece of music, about four to five minutes. And we tried, Hazel, to get in the comments so they know I'm not making it up. It was no less than five times. I tried every device. I, I tried to play it straight from the lap, laptop into the meeting. I tried to play it from the phone, just the audio. I tried to dial in from the phone and get it and see if it would play. It would not play. It would not play. So what I did, I had to read the message that was in the music. And Hazel, as a student, said that she received me reciting it even more so than the music. I'm talking about that has never happened before. I've been doing that for a solid year now. I've been doing these classes for over two years. And so we know that there is power in the message. We know that there is a mission that God is trying to pull out of us. And so we can't be bothered. We can't be, we have to be unbothered, unoffended. We have to be like that tree, steadfast and unmovable. Come on, somebody, this is the message before the message. We have to be steadfast and unmovable. Um, we can't be bothered. We can't be offended. We cannot be bogged down by circumstances. Listen, I'm just in the recap. I'm just in the message before the message. It's good already, okay? Walking in love and peace at all times. Now, I could get mad. I could fuss at all of my internet providers. I could say, what's going on with this blank phone? What is happening? But what I'm going to say is that the devil is a liar. He's defeated. God is exalted. I'm going to speak the word of faith. No matter what, that is what's going to get me my success. Unbothered and undefended. That was a couple of weeks ago. Then last week, because guess what? The Lord started at the top of the year. He started walking us through kind of back to the basics, just like he did last year. And I say, Holy Spirit, I feel you. I see exactly what it is that you're doing in this season. God positioned me because I'm, let me just say this. We still message before the message in the recap. Okay. I've said this before, not to be ultra spooky, but I know those of you that's really, with, I know you feel that excite, that nervous excitement. I know you feel that urgency. I know you sense something. Things are different when you're going to work, when you're going to your classes, when you're working with your clients, even with your loved ones. It's like, it's something in the air. What is it? And so it's two different forces. God is looking to do something great. And listen to this. At the very time where we are seeing tragedy after tragedy, it's a distraction. Y'all have to see that. We have celebrities who are committing suicide. Their family members are committing suicide. We're having major shootings. Go on. Come on, somebody. We're having people die suddenly. Illnesses are happening. And so it's just like, what is happening in the mix? If you all do not center yourself, hide yourself in the Almighty, okay? Again, like my I wish Tiffany was in here. Like my sister Tiffany said it, she said it perfectly. When the pandemic first started, everybody was quoting Psalm 91. But now you don't hear that much anymore. Everybody's talking about N95 masks. Everybody's talking about what's this and what's that. Hello, somebody? Okay, the real. We need to find ourselves hidden in Christ, up under his wings, in his shadow. When we draw nigh to him, hello, somebody, he will draw nigh to us. And that is where we're going to have our protection. That's where we're going to have our greatest successes. That is where we're going to get into this legacy that God is trying to build. Because once again, and I know for a fact that I've been saying this for no less than four years, God is looking to make an example out of us in a good way. God is looking to blow our minds so the world will be like, wait a minute, what's going on over there? What's, 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 what's this? So they will get so curious. So they will have um, like a jealous curiosity. Like, let me see what's going on. Let me find out what she did because I need to do that because she's popping. 
Yes, I am popping in Jesus. Hello? Popping for the kingdom. That's what we're doing. Okay, so let me go. Focus, Hazel. Focus. You said it exactly right. Christ's mission will go forward. Because it's not about it's not about me. I said this to somebody um else, uh, one of my sisters from church. It's only about me choosing to be obedient. The only difference between me and the next person is that I chose to be obedient. Because guess what? God is speaking to us all. All of us have a calling and unique assignment on our lives. Hello, somebody. I have just been able to flip that switch to flow in mine. And guess what? It was at a high cost. I don't have, you see all the eye contact you get? This is not in the notes. God did not tell me ahead of time to say this. Mine was quite costly, okay? Mine was, I can't say discovered, but I'll say rediscovered, developed and honed in a hospital bed. Hello, somebody. 26 days in the hospital. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in medical bills so this cost okay so i i always say my mission is that you don't have to go the way that i did if i paid this high price you should not have to pay as high a price shame on you and me if that happens so i'm telling you the story i'm encouraging you to find your purpose get that clarity hear what the lord is saying be obedient so you don't have to go the way that i did hello somebody all right. Okay. So last week, that was two weeks ago. Unbothered, unfinished. Last week, God flowing us right through this thing. Last week, we talked about face it head on. Because that is what the Lord is moving us into as in regards to our challenges. He's calling us to face them head on. He's not punishing us. He's not turning his back on us. He's right there with us. And we have the power to overcome. Just like Alexandria was blessed to come out of the hospital, just like I was blessed to come out of the hospital. Hazel and Hazel's husband, my God brother, have um, conquered medical challenges. Yolanda has birthed four beautiful babies and counting and counting. So God is doing this. Sarah beat COVID. Come on, somebody. Daphne beat COVID. Sarah's dad, the prayers of the righteous, availed. And dad beat cancer again. We can face these challenges head on. There's absolutely nothing that we can't do through the power of the Holy Ghost. It's grace. His grace and his mercy. His love. My God. My God. Rosemary holding on to her job for 20 years, doing amazing things. She's a beautiful, blessed content creator now. God is doing this thing and still working. She's a healthcare hero. Come on, somebody. Okay, I'm just, just trying to tell you what the Lord is doing. Okay, so this week we're going to be talking about Lord, your mighty, because we truly serve a mighty, awesome God. His name is matchless there is no one above him no one even beside him no one on the level of our lord okay so uh let me share i am going to share several lines of this because this has been blessing me for a long time but it's been like crushing me in a good way this week listen to the lyrics of this song and don't think it's strange. You very well may see this in lyrics, the blog. I'm almost sure you will continue to support that. I appreciate y'all. Lyrics, the blog, available on tbowmedia.com slash blog. Yes, that's a shameless plug, but listen to these uh, to these lines. This is the sound of dry bones rattling. This is the praise make a dead man walk again. Open the grave I'm coming out. I'm going to live again. This is the sound of dry bones rattling. Pentecostal fire. Stirring something new. You're not going to run out of miracles anytime soon. Resurrection power runs in my veins too. I believe there's another miracle here in this room. Listen, I got to stop anyway. I'm getting ready to lose it all over again. Dry bones rattling. 
what a mighty God we serve. I believe there's another miracle here in this room, right in this virtual space right here with my sisters, with our YouTube family that will watch it again later. There's another miracle. God is doing it. He is making this example out of us. Pentecostal fire. Woo! Let me go to another. <laughs> Let's go to the next thing. Let's get ready to be a whole thing. Getting ready to be a whole thing. So what we're going to do, um, similar to how we've done for the last uh, few weeks, this is the kind of path that God has me on right now. I'm going to go to the meat of our text, our key text. Then I'm going to jump out to some supporting pieces and then we're going to come back and walk the text. Okay, so just follow me. I'm going to be new living most of the night. <clears throat> I have at least one other reference. So just follow me. If you got B-I-B-L-E, you are all right with me. Y'all know I heavily prefer the New Living Translation. Let me re-up on my cough drop one second. Ooh, Hazel, that's a good word. Hazel said, God is positioning us for the great revival that's coming. And I know that's the truth. I know for a fact that's the truth. Some churches, like my church, have had to go back on virtual. We've been virtual all since the new year. So, they make an announcement. They look like they're getting ready to let us go back in a minute. We've been virtual the entire new year. You mean to tell me God is getting ready to drop something major? And I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, so first place we're going to go, we're back in Psalms. Y'all know Psalm is some of my favorite. I love the whole word. Okay, I love the word, period. Psalm chapter 40. And let me tell y'all one thing. I'm going to have to call. I couldn't call them quick enough today. I'm going to have to call um, our local Christian radio, the midday uh, broadcasters, because how about the DJ read my text for tonight? I said, girl, what are you doing? Get out of my scripture. <laughs> she sure did. She sure did. Psalm chapter 40, verse 5, New Living. Uh-oh, my sister's in the building. Hey, frown, I see you. <laughs> frown, you right on time. I just did a recap. And um, just we worshiped and shared with the Lord. So I'm jumping right into the Psalms. Psalm chapter 40. Our key text is this. This is New Living, okay? Oh, Lord, my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. Oh, my goodness. If I try to recite all your wonderful deeds. I would never, my God, come to the end of them. I'm going to have to read that one more time. Oh, Lord, my God. You have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If I try to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them y'all i could close the whole shop down just on that what there is no god like our god we're talking about lord you're mighty on tonight my god this is david listen nobody don't go in like david now remember this is the one that danced out of his clothes he was already a king the most powerful man in the land called and chosen by god as a preteen hello somebody his wife was like you are acting unseemly. And he was like, girl, you better chill. Okay? The worshiper. Okay? A man after God's own heart. He said, you have no equal. If I tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them. God is wonderful. He's mighty. He's awesome in power. Listen, then let me, I'm going to just jump on. I'm going to have to just do what God says. So listen, we're still in Psalms. I want to flip back a little bit and a message version real quick. Listen to this. You can follow me or you can just write it down. Psalm 16. Psalm 16. This is the message version. Listen to this. This is verses 1 and 2. Message version says this. Keep me safe, O God. I've run for dear life to you. I say to God, be my Lord. Without you... Nothing makes sense. 
Nothing makes sense. The psalmist there says, without you, nothing. Nothing makes sense. Y'all, that is how we have, that's our, again, we're talking about mindset and heart set. Okay, Lord, you're mighty. When we come to the realization that nothing, absolutely nothing makes sense without God, it does not. You can't be a good wife. You can't be a good mother. You can't be a good employee without God. You can try. You can try these good deeds. Everybody for years and years, guess what? Years and years, especially all through the 80s and 90s, they pretty much thought if you show up to church on Sunday, you pay your dues or your offering, you, you know, you be nice, help old ladies across the street, you in there, you good. No, no and no again, no. You have to do your ABC. You have to accept, believe, and confess Christ. Hello, somebody. And God is calling you if you're going to have the abundant life that he promised us in the word. You have to walk out your purpose. Hello, somebody. Guess what? Just like the enemy was fighting so hard, this technology, all this past few weeks, it's been sickening. Okay, sickening. The picture wasn't coming clear the sound wasn't coming clear the comments weren't working stuff is blinking out everything's not going everything is going crazy that's just a picture of your life the enemy is going to try to throw everything at you to try to knock you off your square to try to block you from your purpose and guess what when you are right there in the fight my spiritual dad says the attack is proof Come on, somebody in here. The attack is proof. So when you are up against those challenges, it's not time to shrink back. It's not time to go hide in a corner. It's the time to stand strong, to persevere, to push through even the more. That is what we do. We are body believers, okay? We are the army of the Lord. This is what we do, y'all. We have to know that without God, absolutely nothing makes sense. Hazel said, it's ab absolutely right. It has nothing to do with your nice. Nice people go to hell all the time. Yes, nice people are on their way right now. And it's our job to try to empower them, inform them, embrace them, help them to understand that they need a savior. Help them to understand that their job is to glorify their savior, our savior, Christ every day by walking out your purpose walking out your purpose did y'all forget that the word says it's not in the lesson that the word says that your gift will make room for you okay your markers marketers your favorite influence will tell you that when you show up confident when you're doing the thing that you're meant to do, then people will be drawn to you. Well, guess what? They've tried to flip that in this world economy to try to get you to sell things, try to get you to buy things, try to get you to be okay with the eyes on you. But guess what? That's a biblical principle. And the reason that it works is because God is not a respecter of person, but what? A respectable of principle. Hey, were you blinking at me? I blink it right back. Blinking right back at you. The attack is proof. You cannot shrink back. That's how you know you're on to something. It's just like, hmm, something's trying to block this. Let me push on. Okay. All right. And then I'm not going to get into this unless the Lord say otherwise. It's very important that you make connections like this. That's why I'm so grateful and honored for those of you that show up on Thursday night, for those of you that catch the replays, for those of you that jump in the YouTube, because you have to have that discernment. So you have to know when God is saying, hey, that's not the right thing. So there's a different thing when you're onto something and it's blockages, but then there's something else when the Lord is pulling your coattail and saying, hey, Okay, so that's something, again, that's where you need a spiritual leader, you need a coach, you need an accountability group, all of those things. Okay, so that's a little bit separate lesson, but I'm going to drop that one on you for free so that you know that you definitely want to catch the replay. After this goes off, go back in the group, play it all over again, and listen and say, okay, you know what, I need to get that. Lord, and we can pray this every time. Lord, prepare my heart to receive that word. Lord, root out any lies or any doubts that I have about you, about my purpose, about your word. Come on, somebody. We need to talk. Sarah, help me teach this lesson. Help me tell the people that God is your heavenly father. I see my sister Lois in the building. Lois, you're going to make me cry. 
I bless you and I'm so grateful that you're here because I know what you went through today and I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Thank you. I don't care if you're here for five minutes or two seconds. Thank you so much for being here. My sis Michelle is in the building. Thank y'all so much. It means it's an honor. I appreciate y'all so, so very much. And so what we have to do is make sure that we connect with the body. That's why it's so important. We can't be fighting against one another. We have to link arms, okay? Because it really is us against the world, okay? And we have to capture the world for Christ. That is the only reason that we are even here to glorify him, to make his name great, okay? And we do that by living on purpose. I love you so much. By living on purpose. Okay, come on, let's go to the next one here. Let's go to the next one here. Now I'm back to new living. I think that's my all. I'm not, I'm trying not to do too much flippity flopping. I'm back to new living because I want us to look at the same verse in new living. And that's again, that's Psalm 16 verse two. That's not our key text, Lois. You still, you right on time. You right. Perfect timing, Michelle. Perfect timing. Psalm 16 verse two, new living version says this. I said to the Lord, you are my master. Everything good I have comes from you. Somebody, somebody, <laughs> somebody, everything good I have from you. Let me tell a little story. This is not bragging because I don't do this. I don't have to. Okay. I'm so grateful to God. I looked at my car today. I had work to do. I got y'all already know. Y'all see it. I got a ton of things going on. Okay, I'm grateful to God because I'm busy and blessed. Hello, somebody. And I, um, my car was nasty. I have a white car. The Lord blessed me. I was in a horrible accident, which I did share that with y'all this summer. And I'm grateful to God that I'm not mangled. Hello, somebody. I'm still walking. I'm still talking good. I'm still in my right mind. Praise the Lord. And um, what the enemy meant for bad, God meant for good, because I was able to get a beautiful new vehicle out of it. And guess what? The car was nasty today, and I was just looking at it. The weather has been cold, but it was warmer um, today. I really could have gone without a jacket, but I had a jacket. Just tell me a little bit of story, okay? So, you know, we're here in uh, Georgia, South Carolina area. And I was looking at the car, and I said, I am sick of this car. This car is nasty. But... Again, I had a whole bunch of other stuff to do. It's the first of the month, so I'm trying to get bills paid, all of this and all of that. And I kept going by the car wash, going by the car wash. Then I was trying. I'm like, I'm not getting ready to buy no $20 car wash. That's just not getting ready to happen. Even though I would love for them to get in there vacuum, I was just like, I'm not doing that. I'm just not doing that. Then the little place where you have to do the holes and do it yourself, I was just like, I don't have no quarters. I don't have no ones. Ugh. You know, just it was everything, right? And so then I pull up. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless me that I'm able and I'm in. I haven't even said this publicly, but I'm in um, a new office space. Thank you, Jesus. God did it. All glory goes to him. Now everybody in the world is going to know that. That's okay. <laughs> Pulled up to my new office in my still new car. And I said, I'm going to wash this car. It just so happened to be a hose hookup there and a hose so i bought a new sponge and some new soap and i washed my new car off in front of my new office myself hello somebody god is good everything good that i have comes from the lord hello somebody and i that thing gave me such joy and i'll be honest with you why you gotta listen to the holy spirit I'll be honest with you, I was just going to kind of spot clean it because some part like near the tire was nasty and some parts on the door was just a little nasty. I had a little sponge. The sponge was not even the size of my hand. Come on, somebody. But I heard, I'm telling you, it wasn't even natural. First of all, I am, you know, I, I'm from the hood so I can go there with you or whatever. But at the end of the day, I'm still a girly girl. Like I don't do trash and I don't do cars. Like that's what somebody else to do. Somebody named... Mr. Bolden. Okay, he already know that. Like, I don't, I don't be trying to deal with none of that. But I was sick of the way the car looked. And I felt a pull. I felt a whisper. Go ahead on and wash the car. You got the stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. I was getting ready. to Come on, Sarah. Sarah laughing at me. I was just going to do a little spot clean. Bop, bop, bop. Hose it up. Shh, shh, shh. Done, done, done. When I tell you I heard the spirit, it was, I promise it wasn't my idea. 
the spirit said, finish the job. That's a message for somebody on today. God is saying, finish the job. Everything good I have comes from you. Be a good, be a good steward over what God has blessed you with. God has blessed you with, we are women in here tonight, a husband, a mate that loves you. God has blessed you with children, even though they pluck your nerve. God has blessed you with a job. God has blessed you with a position in the community. Come on, somebody. God has blessed you with a platform called Facebook. Hello, somebody. God is saying, finish the job. Be a good steward of that. God has blessed you with a ministry, a passion. God is saying, finish the job. Be a good steward over that. And honey, I sat up there and I washed that whole car with a sponge this this size, really this size. And a hose. And I had such joy as I got my sleeves wet, my socks wet. I had such joy. When you are obedient, oh my God, I'm getting ahead of myself. When you are obedient, you will have the joy of the Lord and you'll find that all things are coming together like the word said. It's funny how when you obey the word, hello, and walk the word out, it's funny how you have that fulfillment and that joy. Isn't it interesting how that works? Why don't more people do this? I don't know. I would really be interested. You can get in the comments and tell me what you think. Because I, I don't know. Why don't more people do this? It's Life on this side is, is pretty good. And Lois, thank you. I'm so glad that I was spared too. Because he didn't have to let me live. Did we talk about that? How many weeks ago? He didn't have to let me. I am glad that I, millions didn't make it. <laughs> That's what the song says. Millions didn't make it. But I was one of the ones who did. Y'all, when we got into this mess, this quarantine COVID situation two years ago, so many started off with us and they are no longer here. I told y'all how many phone calls and texts that I'm getting. Oh, you know, so-and-so died. Oh, tell your mom such and such died. Have your mom talked to, have y'all talked to so-and-so? Well, you know, they died. I saw on Facebook today, three people connected to my California church family. Hazel, did you see the um the post? Lost their moms. Was it three people lost their mom? Three people lost their mom. I think two of them were siblings, but the other one was not. T Listen, the time is now. This time is not promised to any of us. Years ago, it was unthinkable that, um, you know, people wouldn't live past 30 and 40. Check Barbara's um, post, Hazel. And, um, you know, it, you, you would hardly never hear. And, you know, in some cases, somebody might have a rare illness or whatever. But as the years have gone by, we have all this crazy stuff that's been added to our food. Hello, somebody. We have crazy stuff floating around in the air. We eat dumb stuff like tea. You know, I eating Cheetos and dumb mess like that. Like, what is even in a Cheeto, really? You don't understand what I'm saying? So we have to think about these things. Life is not promised to us. Tomorrow is not promised. So we got to live for God today. Everything good I have. I spent way more time on this than I um, thought Sarah's laughing at me in a Cheetos. Way more time on this than I anticipate. So let me get into this. God got one more place to take me. Then we're going to get back into our key text, which is Psalms 40. Psalms 40. So let me go here. Real quick. I'm still new living now, okay? Second Corinthians. If y'all follow me, this was the word of the day. I want to say yesterday. It was this week for sure. And that thing touched me. Listen. Second Corinthians. Chapter 1, this is verses 3 and 4. Listen, this is New Living, okay? All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. Come on, somebody. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. My goodness, when they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. Y'all, 
Is the Holy Spirit saying this or what? Nika's in the building. Hey, sis. Is the Holy Spirit saying this or what? We are grieving. Okay? And guess what? You can't put a time stamp on grief. My cousin is getting ready in March, not March, May, to be two years. What year is this? Yes. Two years. Two years. That thing still hurts. I was telling our other cousin, I still go, I, and this doesn't happen with very many people at all. I still go to my phone and want to text her and call her. That hurts. You understand what I'm saying? It's just like, who ministers to the minister? Who counsels the counselor, right? I hurt too, right? But God says that he is our merciful father. And the source of all comfort, okay? Some of us are mourning the loss of jobs, of income, of relationship. Maybe the person is not dead, but that thing is severed and you know you can't go back that way no more. It's a mourning. Guess what? It's okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be hurt. But what we have to know, my God, more than anything, we have to know that the source of our comfort is guess what it's not shopping hello somebody it's not eating hello somebody and i'm gonna be honest with you <clears throat> i'm gonna mess somebody up it's not even churching what see what you say yes because some of us try to use going to church as a band-aid no what are you going for get the word get healed and apply it but just showing up that's your social, and I, I enjoy it. I love my church family. You can ask anybody in here. Love them, okay? But you got to get healed. You got to know that your comfort comes from Christ. Let that word heal you, not just your uh, routines, and this is where I go on Sunday, and this is where I be, and this is what I do. Not just retail therapy, which I love. Hello, somebody. I'm not, I'm not, I'm getting in your business, but I'm not getting in your business. I'm getting in your business. Okay, make sure that we are mindful and intentional with what we do. You can't just go with the flow and do these things. The enemy loves when we just go with the flow. Because when you go with the flow, he can just string you right along. Oh, okay, the, um, the man stopped taking her phone call. She ain't going to go do nothing but buy three or four dresses. Oh, you know what? Her kids ain't got on her nerve. She ain't going to go do nothing but go get uh, three or four burgers and two or three bottles of wine. The enemy have watched our patterns. My God. The enemy has watched our patterns and he's watching how we cope because he knows, my God, he knows what we have access to. Do y'all know that the devil knows the Bible? He know what the Bible say. He just don't choose to follow it. He wanted to rise himself up above the true and living God. Hello, somebody. Okay, so we have to know that Christ is the source of all comfort. Ten years, Lois, God bless. I know that's tough. That's tough. Ten years. And nine for my... Lois, I, I be forgetting. My sis right here in the group, y'all. Thank you for being transparent with us, Lois. My sis right here in the group lost her son and her mom back to back. She said it's ten and nine years, respectfully. She still hurts. Okay? And so I'm so grateful for her connecting with me, connecting with us. So when she feels like she want to act unseemingly, when the enemy whispers and suggests these what? Unhealthy, unholy coping mechanisms. God, did you do this? I didn't even get to the key text. The Lord did it. Don't, bl don't blame me. God did it. I know y'all was blessed because I already feel the pull. Y'all know I don't keep us here no long time. So <laughs> I got to go back to Psalms and we're going to get out of here. The enemy would love for you to get out there and have these unholy, unhealthy coping mechanisms. He say, yep, if I get her so she is feeling down, I know she is going to call so-and-so. Or I know she's going to go over so-and-so. I know she's going to drink so-and-so. She might even smoke so-and-so. He's just waiting. And this is what it was. Did we say this last week? He doesn't know what will stick so he's just throwing a bunch of stuff at us i might hey so is this sound familiar did i tell y'all this on saturday i said this to somebody already he don't know what will stick so he's just throwing a bunch of stuff at us and then when we go that way he said ha 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 that's the one that'll work but no god is exalted the enemy is defeated 
we have the victory. We have the victory, okay? God is the God of all comfort. And this, once again, this is why having a group of sisters, having a group of brothers, having a group of body believers, Bible believers, that can encourage you, that can get on the phone and in the text with you and say, you all right? You can talk to me. Okay, it's so important. It's vital. Okay. Excuse me, y'all. I had to get the cough drop going. Let me do this. We almost about to get up out of here. Y'all done pulled it all out already. So now, let me go back to Psalms 40, okay? Our key text was verse 5. I'm going to start at verse 1. Okay, this is David. Boy, that David, let me tell you something. <laughs> Don't play with him. He says, I waited patiently for the Lord to help me. And he turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me, come on somebody, out of the pit of despair. I believe it's, oh, nope, it's right here. I was getting ready to get ahead of myself. Lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire. It's a version that says the muck and the mire. That's dirty, nasty. Lifted me out of it. He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. He has given me a new song to sing. A hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. If y'all not amazed when y'all get in this group and when y'all see this, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what kind of, I don't know what kind of wow button you got, but it's a wow moment. It's a wow moment. When you, <laughs> when you take a crazy person a crazy person and you flip that switch in their heart and cause them to love God and love people and walk upright, honey, it's a big deal. Uh, it is a big deal. And Lord knows I love him. I love him. He has done so much for me. And again, I just choose to be obedient. I choose to understand that nothing makes sense without him. Just like David said, I choose to understand that everything that I have good is because of him. It's all about the mindset. It's all about the mindset. Okay, verse 4 says this. Oh, the joys of those who trust in the Lord, who have no confidence in the proud or in those who worship idols. Oh, Lord, this is the key text. Oh, Lord, my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If I tried to recite all of your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them. That was verse five and six says this. You take no delight. I like this part. You take no delight in sacrifices or offerings. Now that you have made me listen, hello, somebody. Now that you have made me listen, I finally understand. You don't require burnt offering or sin offering. Then I said, look, I have come as it is written about me in the scriptures. I take joy in doing your will, my God. For your instructions are written on my heart. Y'all, David, is David telling us this thing or is he telling us this thing? Your instructions are written on my heart. Y'all, we should wake up wanting to do what God, God has called us to do. We should go to bed saying, Lord, I pray that I glorified you on tonight. And if I didn't, God, give me a chance to do it again tomorrow. This is our life. Okay. Verse 9 says, I have told all your people. Come on, Facebook. I have told all your people about your justice. Come on, YouTube. I have not been afraid to speak out. As you, Lord, well know. I have not kept the good news of your justice hidden in my heart. It's not a secret. I have talked about your faithfulness and saving power. I have told everyone in the great assembly of your unfailing love and faithfulness. Lord, don't Hold back your tender mercies from me. Let your unfailing love and faithfulness always protect me. Now, what I know I did say to my class on Saturday is that the safest place 
in the world is purpose. Now, my spiritual granddaddy said that. T.D. Jakes is my spiritual granddad because he's my spiritual dad's spiritual dad. He says the safest place in the world is in purpose. Okay? Let your unfailing love and faithfulness always protect me. That's what David said. My God. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Lord, you're mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. And guess what? He's just as mighty in your life as you allow him to be. Hazel said it. Stuff that we used to do that felt good. It should not anymore. Okay? Things we used to do, we shouldn't do no more. Places we used to go, we shouldn't go no more. Okay? There has to be a change. Guess what? The Holy Spirit brings about change. And guess what? Outside of Christ, there is no change. Outside of Christ, there is no change. It's just laying dormant, waiting to pop off again, waiting to get foolish again, waiting to get real stupid. One more time, just a repetitive cycle. But the Holy Ghost brings about change. Hallelujah. Mighty God, Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Listen, God did it. <laughs> God did it. God did it. We done walked through the Psalms. We touched on 2 Corinthians. And then we closed it back up with the key text, Psalms 40. Awesome God. He's an awesome God. He's an awesome God. Listen. <laughs> Y'all know when I get to the end of the lesson, I'll be like, ooh. Um, if you have prayer requests, Please feel free to drop your prayer request right here. We will pray live for you that you continue to do what God says do, that he will bring a resolve in your situation. Listen, because this is going to be shared globally with our YouTube friends and family, I will acknowledge your prayer request, but I try to practice not saying your name because, again, people have been so brave and courageous as to um, ask for prayer for their families, for different loved ones. And so, again, we don't want somebody to be able to view this in five years and be like, oh, you was praying for me because so and so and so, or whatever. So, oh, Lois made a good point before we go in prayer. Lois said, if we're falling back into our old ways, which none of us are above slipping, hello, somebody, let's just be real about that. But if we're falling back into our old ways and we are not convicted, that's a problem. That's a problem. If you don't feel bad about it, if you don't feel like you need to pray, maybe ask somebody to pray with you, then it's wrong. If you are completely okay, you're going back to that old thing, you call an old buddy, you're going down to the store and buying old such and such that you used to, you're doing such and such and such, and you don't feel no way about it, that is a problem. That is a problem. And that is not glorifying, nor is it exalting God. Your life ought to show some evidence. Absolutely. 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 And we thank God for his grace. Thank God for his grace. And I don't want anybody to feel judged. No, we're not judging you. But guess what? God did say that we are fruit inspectors. Hello, somebody. We can say, oh, yeah, that lines up with the word of God. That makes sense. And then we can also say, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? No, no, <laughs> we can't. And so what it is, we're not going to antagonize you. We're not going to embarrass you. We're going to pray for you. We're going to come to you in love and ask you how we can support. That's how the body of Christ is supposed to work, okay? We have a sister praying, asking for prayer for her sisters that they remain faithful to the Lord. Absolutely, sis. We will pray that. We will be praying for um, my um, my sister, sister who had um, surgery on today. Bless her spirit. We will be praying. Praying for all of us. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to give you all about 30 more seconds. I know everybody's thing. Um, you know, sometimes a little lag with the Wi-Fi and then slow typers like myself. Okay, I'm in, I'm one in a number. So I'm going to give you all a few more seconds if you have a prayer request. If not, 
I'm gonna keep my family in prayer. I had a certain family in um in Maryland who was going through their second round of COVID. They beat it again. Hallelujah. Thank you guys. Still here to tell the story. They still jumping on Facebook, so they fine. <laughs> So we thank God for that. Definitely, again, praying for those who um, are grieving loss of loved ones and everything. Okay? All right. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I so thank you. We, God, are so grateful. You did it again. You showed up here. You spoke to our hearts. God, thank you. Thank you for honoring us. Who are we? Who are we, God, that you would even consider us? But you love us, Lord God, just like you dress the lilies of the field, just like you feed the birds of the air. They don't labor or toil. You just take care of them. And you said, what more for us? Your chosen, the absolute apple of your eye, God, thank you for taking care of us. Thank you, God, that we acknowledge, we recognize, and we give thanks right now that everything good in our lives is because of you. God, nothing makes sense without you. This word is true in our lives. And God, thank you for being true to your word. You are not a man that you should lie, but you see your word. What you set it out to do, it won't come back to you, void, and you see it through to the end. You are faithful. God, just thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. We praise your holy name. We bless your holy name. We honor you, God, forever and ever and ever. God, you'll be worthy forever, so we will honor you. We will praise you and we will adore you forever. We will humble ourselves before you forever, God. We will never, 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 never take it for granted, God. And I love you and I thank you. Lord, our sister asked a prayer for all of us that we as sisters as women of god lord god not even just in this group but all across the globe that we will be faithful to your word that we will listen that we will discern that we will keep our hands on the gospel plow and do what you have called us to do god there is a great revival coming and i believe that women of god are going to play a vital road god we are coming from behind the curtain we are coming out of the shadows we are taking our rightful place to do what you would have us to do god as ministers of the gospel not somebody with ordained papers or or titles god but as someone who has this word burning in our heart god you've called us to pray you've called us to serve you called us to love you've called us to talk to connect to unify and we're going to do these things we're not going to alienate and draw back and cower down god we're going to stand in our godfidence our confidence in you from on high thank you god for divine insight as we move forward lord god in our work in our homes in our schools in our communities lord god in our businesses in our projects in our creativity in the things the passion the purpose that you've given us god thank you thank you for doing that god i want to ask an extra special blessing on my sister lord god who has had two surgeries and multiple hospital visits in just the last two weeks god you are a healer and we know you to be that god you are a pain reliever and we know you to be that god heal touch deliver do it god thank you for a speedy recovery for her god bless her in a mighty way show up in a mighty way god and while i'm praying for recovery i want to pray for our spiritual father bishop hezekiah presley jr god i already know it i already sense it i believe you've done a quick work in him i believe you blessed him raising him up touching him keeping him energizing him setting him on fire and i am so excited about it i do not know what to do so god thank you bless my man of god lord god bless his wife his children his grandchildren everything he set his hands to do lord god and even our spiritual grandfather td jakes lord god because you pour this word down and it trickles 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 down to us so god i just thank you however you do it however you use it bless god 
someone else who's in recovery she's not here i'm gonna call her name she didn't ask me to pray but i want to pray for our sister jessica lord god someone else bless her heart she's had multiple surgeries oh god she had an infection going on she had to get something straightened out with her foot her leg god she's an amputee and she's a survivor god she was on oxygen just like i was and you delivered her and you're continuing to make her healthy wealthy and wise healed and whole god and i thank you i thank you i speak that blessing on all of my sisters present tonight all of them all over facebook all over youtube lord god and my brothers lord god that we are healthy wealthy and wise that we are walking in our kingdom benefits that you have called us to god thank you for the lives that each of us will touch god this will be a ripple effect it's going to start home and spread abroad God, somebody's going to carry this word, God. If they can't repeat it, God, maybe they'll share it. If they can't share it, maybe they'll live it. And somebody will connect with it. And I'm so grateful, God. I am so, so grateful, God. Thank you for those who are healing and dealing with COVID, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, that this long haul, this um, um, this ongoing issues, related to COVID. God, I call those canceled, null, and void, Lord God. I am praying that respiratory systems clear up and line up right now with the word of God. That mindsets clear up and line up with the word of God. God, I thank you for whatever doctor, whatever drug, whatever vaccine, whatever you choose to do, Lord God, to clear it up and root it out. Thank you for doing it right now, God. Thank you, God, for the survivors and the thrivers. God, those of us that can share information, that can share support, that can send a hug, Lord God, that can send um, a cough drop to somebody, whatever, God, some vitamins, whatever. Thank you, Lord God, for that. That's what it's all about, this sense of community. Lord God, I just love you, and I thank you for doing it, Lord God. Be with the wives on tonight. Be with the mothers on tonight. Be with the heads of households, the heads of organizations, Lord God. The support of households, the support of organizations. Be with spiritual leaders on tonight. God, be with the homeless and the hungry, the careless and the unconcerned. Touch God. Be with them. God, visit the hospitals, the jails, the prisons, Lord God. The mental institutions, God. We know you are everywhere and your people are everywhere. So God, just let your spirit flow free. Let people be curious, be thirsty and hungry for righteousness after you, God. And let us be in place to share that good news, God. When we're up to bat, let us knock it out of the park, God. Let us do it in our living first. God, let us become this word that we've heard. Thank you for your Holy Ghost empowerment. God, did I miss anything? My sister is asking for for prayer for her family. She has grandbabies in school and they have been out of school multiple times because of COVID. Lord, bless these mothers and grandmothers to stay strong and hold to the faith that they're sending these babies out, God. Just protect them. God, if you do it, God, it can be done. If you do it, God, it can be done. We believe, God. We still believe. We still believe you to be a healer and a deliverer. Y'all know I can't scroll. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I love you on today, God. By faith, I receive all these things that I pray, God. I'm looking for the praise report. Looking for them to come to pass. I'm going to ask an extra special blessing right now. She didn't ask me to, but I want to ask an extra special blessing right now on my sister, Sarah. God, bless her, keep her, heal her, touch her, expand her, God, make her even more excellent. Thank you for doing something crazy, wonderful in her faith, her family, and her finances, God. I thank you for blessing all of our faith, family, and finances, doing something marvelous, because you are marvelous, God. And we love you on today, Father. We say, we praise, and we give thanks, and we say, amen, amen, amen. Woo! Amen, 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 amen. Yes, God. Thank you. Y'all know y'all mess around. I pray all night long, but nobody signed up for that. So, (laughs) so yes. Announcements, announcements, announcements. Let me make a couple of announcements. Oh man, I have a few things. So real quick, thank you so much for your support of the Bold Journeys podcast. Guess what? We got season four dropping tomorrow. 
you didn't know it season four brand new show bold journeys tomorrow make sure you check it out we're streaming everywhere 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 thank you so much for your continued support of lyrics the blog you can find all of this beautiful beautiful content on tboldmedia.com lyrics will be found on the blog tab so thank you so much for that real quick Every Thursday, yes, every Thursday. We get down like this every Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Have your face in the place. Invite a friend, tag a loved one. Appreciate y'all so, so very much. Let me just drop um, a couple other things. Guess what? I still have a few seats, just a few seats left. If you know that purpose is calling, if you know that there is something higher and deeper for you that I need you to sign up. Register now for Bold Access Mastermind. This is our winter 2022 session. It's group coaching. I promise you, you're going to come together, collaborate with other kingdom-minded individuals, leaders, and entrepreneurs, and you're going to have the guidance of myself, your um, lead facilitator, Bold Access Mastermind. I will drop the link. Sign up for that. Don't let another quarter, don't let another month go by and you not get purpose done. You need to do that. Sign up for that. We start our first group session on February the 26th. You want to get in that class. So do that for me. Also, we got, I'm going to just drop this real quick on us. We're gearing up. Rose, I think, might have had to jump off because she said she had to do something with her car. But Rose is going to be with me for our bold journeys on this month, the end of this month. February 20th, we're going to have a fireside chat with two daughters. We're going to be talking about resting in peace, your final planning. This is going to be for your orange. We're going to have some amazing resources, real anecdotes, so that you would know how to make sure that you don't go into debt when you have end of life things that you have to deal with with your loved ones. Hello. You definitely want to be in that class. Hazel is saying that Bo Access Mastermind, you definitely will um, not regret making a, an investment. I didn't say it. Hazel said it. You see it in the comments. So um, sign up for those two things. Um, the uh, Purposeful Journeys uh, will be right here in the group. So you need to invite a friend. Invite a friend. Purposeful Journeys is going to take place right here in Chosen Chick. Um, open to all Bold Access Mastermind is going to be private and it's going to be um, recorded. You get all of these tools. So definitely look at those things. And last but not least, y'all know what tomorrow is. Friday, Friday, Friday. Tomorrow is Fun Friday. Find yourself in the group. We're going to be having games going on all day. We start at the top of the day. Of course, with your scripture. We start that every day. We got your scripture going on. Then we're going to come with your food for thought. A really funny joke every week, but then we're going to have games all day. You're going to want to hang around. So as soon as this stream is over, we're about to jump off here. Go back in the group. Where? Back in the group. To the top of the page, smash that notification bell. Make sure you get notified. Not for the highlights, but for all posts. Somebody say all posts. Hit the notification bell. Get notified for all posts. So you can rock with us tomorrow. Fun Friday. We got games going on all day long. So... I love y'all so much. I appreciate you. We're going to be here. Same bad channel, same bad time next week. But again, I want to see you tomorrow in the group for Fun Friday. I want to see you in Bold Access Mastermind and Purposeful Journey. All of the things added to your calendar. Meet me there. I love y'all so, so much. Hazel, I stand by too. Love y'all so much. God bless. Good night. Hey, Sister June, catch the replay. Thank you for popping in. Catch the replay. See y'all next time.